Now let's find the area of this trapezoid. We know the formula here, and this time we're given the height, that's 21. We're given one base, 11, and we're not given the other base, but we're given this angle right here. Well, that's a giveaway. We know this is going to involve some trig. Well, let's, well, first let's, what trig do we use? I need to see a right triangle. So I'm going to take this and draw this auxiliary line. Make a rectangle here. So I've got 21 and I've got 21. I've got a 21 by 11 rectangle there. And now I can see this triangle plain as day. And let's see. I know I'm, I'm going to be solving for this length right here. And then I'm going to add that together with this 11 to make the base. Or I'm just going to take the area of the rectangle and add the triangle. You choose. So let's get to the trig. Now, let's see, um, I remember my Soka Toa with respect to this 50 degree angle. I'm looking at the 21 is clearly the opposite. The adjacent, well that's the A, convenient letter there. Hypotenuse is over here. Well, don't need that hypotenuse. Don't need that at all. I need a, a ratio with opposite and adjacent, and that's clearly going to be tangent. The Toa in Soka Toa. So now, let me set that up. I know I've got a tangent. In this case, I'll take the 50 degrees, and that's going to be equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, now let's do a little substitution. I'm going to replace the opposite with the number 21, and then I'm going to replace the adjacent with the letter A. So 21 over A. So now I've got the tangent of 50 is 21 over A. I suppose I could get these out of there if it, if it helps you see it. And let's get let's go to work here. Let me rearrange this equation. Now the means extremes product property, we talked about this in class. I can switch these two around. In other words, I can rewrite this. A is equal to 21 over the tangent of 50. Now we're really done. That expression is right there. I'm, I'm ready to go ahead and solve for this. Again, you could do it by parts, by adding the two figures, but we'll stick with the classic. We'll just use the formula of the trapezoid right here. Here's my substitution. Now, again, in purple, right here, this expression is the 11 and the A added together. I have to add it to the other base, then divide by 2. Let's hit the calculator right now. Let's see if we got that calculator. Oh, 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 no, giving it away. Let's just say, um, starting right here, 21 divided by, there's my 50, that's my tangent of 50, equals. So right now, that's the 21 divided by tangent of 50. I need to add 11 and 11 again, so I'll add 22. And then I'll take that number, divide by 2. That's the average of my bases, also known as the median. Now, times 21, and I've got 416.0214 to the nearest tenth. I guess that would be 416 and no tenths square units. Well done. Well, let's find the area of this trapezoid right here. I see the bases, 15 and 31 respectively, and I've got a length of a leg. And I've got an angle here. My height is unknown. Well, that's where the trig comes in. You know this is about trig, so let's get to it. Before I can use this formula, well, I just need to solve for that h. So there's my triangle that I'm interested in. Just focus on that. And I know my Soka Toa, as we were taught, and I'm thinking, hmm, with relationship to this 70, well, the H must be the opposite. The side down here is adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse. Well, I don't really need that adjacent. I need something that relates opposite to hypotenuse. Well, that would be sine, the so in Sokotoa. 
So we got that figured out. Let's write down the equation. The sine is, of course, the opposite over hypotenuse. In this case, the sine of 70 degrees. Now I can replace this, and of course, my opposite side is going to be the h. So I'm going to replace the opposite with h, and I'll replace the hypotenuse with 14. So the sine of 70 is h over 14. Well, if I want to rearrange that, I guess I'll just multiply both sides of the equation by 14. I can rewrite the equation, therefore, this way. Well, I've got h is 14, uh, 14 times the sine of 70, and I've used the symmetric property just to flip left and right. And now I'm done. I just substitute into my equation right there, and this is what I've got. Now, I could do this. I see right here I've got 31 plus 15. Let me see, that's going to be, what, 46 divided by 2, and I can simplify that. 46 divided by 2 is going to be 23. So I know that the average of the bases, which is also the median of this trapezoid, is 23 units. So then I'll, well, let me just take that and multiply it by 14 sine of 70. Get my calculator right there. And I'll say 23 times 14 times, there we go, 70 sine that's the sine of 70, looks good, it's near 1, equals, aha, uh -huh. and there we have it, 302.58102, but we we're asked to round to the nearest tenth of a unit, so 302 and 6 tenths square units. Well, here's yet another trapezoid with a missing part. I don't know the second base. Now, don't fall for the old trig thing here because, yeah, I've got this leg and I've got this leg, which is the height, but I don't have any angles. So trig is not going to work for us. It's a little more basic. Just, just well, just look at this. I should take this and stretch it over there. So now I can see, well, I can see this. I've got a 20 by 16 rectangle here. And I've got my right triangle over here. Now, um, I could use Pythagorean theorem, or a little more elegant, how about if I just remember my Pythagorean triples? And that's obviously a multiple of the 3, 4, 5, and we can see the scale factor is 4, so our missing side must be 3 times 4, or 12. So, 12 and 20, I've got a base of 32. Let's do the substitution. It's right there. So I've got the two bases divided by 2 times the height of 16. Do something different this time. I'm going to show you that median, also called a mid-segment sometimes. Remember, that's what this actually means, the average of the bases. And that's going to be 26. And, um, well, then it's just the average of those bases times the height, and that's going to be my area. And ready? Huh. What a coincidence. That's the same number we came up with before. Different problem, same answer. And let's try just one more example. Here where we have a trapezoid, and I see the two bases, 21, 17, and we have a leg, and we have an angle right here. So another chance for some trigonometry. We're going to work off this right triangle right there to help us solve for the height. That's the only thing missing in this formula. We recall our trigonometric identities, our SOCA-TOA, and of course we'll identify. Let me see, the H is opposite the, our given angle, the adjacent sides here, and the 13 is the hypotenuse. Well, it's pretty clear. We, I guess we don't need the adjacent. And so let me see, opposite hypotenuse and again, that's going to be a sine function. So there we go. Let's take this. Let's write this out. The sine of 43 is going to equal the opposite over the hypotenuse. We'll replace and with our direct substitution. Our opposite will replace with h. And 
our hypotenuse is 13. So you see all we've got to do here, we've got h, oops, h is equal to 13. We'll multiply both sides of the equation by 13. 13 times the sine of 43. So it's going to look just like that. Hmm. And now we just substitute in into our equation. Let's go for our equation here. And again, we've got the area of a trapezoid. We've got these, gosh, we've got these two numbers, uh, 21 and 17. Well, if I average or say what's in the middle of 21 and 17, that's of course going to be 19, which is the same as saying the median. So it's going to be 19 times 13 sine of 43. I'll pull up my calculator and let's see what we've got here. I'll take 19 times 13 times 43. There's my sine equals 168.453, etc. to the nearest tenth. Let's write that down, 168 and 5 tenths square units.